Hello, today I would like to present you one of the most precious items I've got. It just arrived. It is a vintage interior lamp from a caravan, a motor home. You basically got it in your living area and you power it from a 12 volt DC power supply. And we are going to unpack it and we are going to take a look how does it feel? It is, of course, a used stuff from like 80s or even 70s. So it is a vintage item. And from the picture I found on the internet, it should be using a regular car bulbs. So this is how it presents. Here on the close-up we can see some manufacturer marking but I never heard about that company. On back there is absolutely nothing. On bottom we've got a power switch that we've got three position. We've got the middle one that is going to be off. We've got the first stage and second stage. Most likely one is going to mean that we are going to be using one bulb and second we are going to be using two bulbs because this device have two bulbs built inside and we've got hole to route wire and let's try to open it and let's see what we've got inside i have to be extra careful because it is a pretty vintage stuff here is our diffusing plate and we are going to see what kind of light it's going to present. This is a regular bulbs, which I absolutely love. Here we've got some marking. We've got uh, two bulbs. Each of them got a uh, 10 watts. And we've got some markings with most likely dimensions. Here are marking on the bulb. We've got a uh, 12 volts, 10 watts. Most common place to find those bulb is inside your vehicle around trunk and they are going to be lightening your license plate. In my spare bulbs bag I've got this one but that one is a 24 volt but also 10 watt. Let's take a look does it going to fit. And from technical point of view, you could put them inside and you could power it from a 24 volts. But for me, I'm interested in exactly 12 volts. And that's because this is the voltage of my goal zero. And my plan is to have it next to my bedside. And in case of any power outage, I will be able to plug it to my goal zero and got emergency light. Looks like that for the mounting we are going to be using that pole. Most likely that's going to be our negative terminal and the center one from switch. And we can also see a dial that is preventing from current flowing into both of those bulbs at once. Let's try hook it up to my power supply and see how it's going to be working. I assume the positive will go into the center terminal and the negative, the common ground to the common one. Let's power up the bench power supply. We are on 12 volt, 3 amp and let's go with a stage number one. And as we expected, the one bulb is working. Let's go with the second stage. And both of those lamps are working. It looks absolutely beautiful. It is a keeper. Let's try to wire it up so I can plug it directly to my goal zero using this cigarette lighter plug because I would like to have it plug and play. 
when we talk about removing insulation, in my personal opinion, this is the best striping tool. And this is the company. You can purchase them under different brands, but this is the real manufacturer. And you can grab like here two wires, you squeeze and it's done. And because the wire is a uh, very thin, I'm going to create a double loop so it gets a more copper to create a better crimp. And I'm going to insert it. And we are going to see does it nicely fit. And yes, it does. And now we grab our crimper. We are going to follow the red color code, which is the smallest one. And this is going to be our front. So we go and put it like this. And we correct it. And we nicely crimp it. And this is what we've got. We do a pull test and everything is fine. Let's do that again. And here is our crimp. And we are ready to go. Since we've got a diode, we need to find a correct polarity. So this is our positive and I'm going to route it like this and the positive go over there. Let me help with a tool. Go like this and we nicely slide it in. And we've got absolutely beautiful lock it's not going to fall off. It is quite important to make sure that our wire is not going to be touching the bulb because it will be dissipating 10 watts of heat. So it's going to be running pretty hot, which of course make a absolutely great sense at the bed lamp because it will be nice and cozy. So let me put it over there and we've got it connected. It looks absolutely beautiful. Does it going to be touching the bulb? Absolutely not. As long we are going to make it like this. Here we've got our hooks and we are ready to put the diffusing plate. Let's try to connect it and see whether it's working correctly. And yes, I can see that is run, running nice. So here we've got the indicator LED. And right now two bulbs are working together. We can turn it off and we can go with just a single lamp. So it is absolutely beautiful. We've got 20 watts of light, 10 watts and off. Let me disconnect the light. This is how it presents. We've got a single stage and let's try to read something. We've got absolutely beautiful warm light. Absolutely great. And let's go with a double one. And we've got a much greater amount of light and we can absolutely read everything we want. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.